Meet Grammarly, the digital writing assistant that helps students create effective writing. What is up everybody? It's Chris here, back with another reaction video. So I'm excited for this one. I do not usually post on the weekends, but I've got a bunch of people telling me to react to Last Man Standing by Polo G, which I'm going to be doing today, and Enough by Lil Mosey. That's exciting. But yeah, this is Last Man Standing. I don't know what to expect because I'm a bit surprised that this song, why it's not got so big because it's full of G and everyone would know by it, but it's only got like 100k views. But I'm going to react to it anyway because people have been telling me to and let's just get straight into it. Are we expecting Kapala or are we expecting Polo G? Apology. No more revolution, it's just fucked up. Ignore the peace. Died in the hood, he never left for so much more to see. Heard the news about him, really hurt me to my core for weeks. The other side and 1200 while we explore the streets. No more revolutionaries, it's just F the cops and ignore the peace. Died in the hood. He had nothing more left to see. Wow. No more making changes. It's just going on about ignoring everything. They're just ignoring what is happening in the world. All these people that are dying in the hood, they've died without seeing everything else that they could have seen. And the fact that Polo G is the one singing this, because he knows what it's like to be from the hood. And he knows what it's like now, how he is living now. The news about him really hurt me to my core for weeks. The other side and 1200 while we explore the streets. Jealous of my melanin, what make you human more than me? They threaten us, oppressing us. We post play that cordially. Think about that shit like what if George is me? Just fucked up as them to sit back and watch. Wow. I did not. I did not expect this. Jealous of my melanin, what make you human more than me? They threaten us, they oppress us. It won't make us cordially, was it? Basically saying, do you expect us to just give you a smile when you're oppressing us? Just because we've got more melanin than you? Just because of our skin colour? Are we not human? They they threaten us, they oppress us. What are we supposed to do about it? Be happy, be friendly about it. Wow. So my melanin, what make you human more than me? They threaten us, oppressing us, we post play that cordially. Think about that shit like what if George is me? Just fucked up as them to sit back and watch him torture me. Like why you ain't going home just recording? Feel pressure, then I'm shooting final seconds out the quarter three. Cause I'm <laughs> that cordially. Think about that shit like what if George is me? Just fucked up as them to sit back and watch him torture Thinking about it like what if George was me? And those people that didn't do anything. They were just recording me. We all know about the protests and everything that happened in America with George Floyd. I'm pretty sure we've all seen the recording. But the fact that Paul G sat there and he said, what if I was in that position? What if it wasn't George that was there? What if this didn't happen to George? What if it happened to me? And what are you all going to do about it? How can you just sit there and record it? I know there's not much you can do when it's the cops that are there doing this to you. But if we all really came together, I'm not just talking about the minorities here, I'm talking about everybody. If we all came together and we just understood what was right, we'd be able to make a change. Let's play that cordially. Think about that shit like what if George is me? Just fucked up as him to sit back and watch him torture me. Like why you ain't going home just recording? Feel pressure then I'm shooting final seconds out the quarter three. Cause I'll be damned if I let a pig put a fork in me. The fans knocking that just mean the devil at the door for me. I just hope the Lord with me. They try to change. He said, I'd be damned if I let a pig put a fork in me. The feds knocking at my door, that just means the devil's at the door for me. I just hope Lord's with me. The sad thing is, I can't even put myself in this position and completely understand what other people are going through. But I can just imagine a movie you need to watch is The Hate You Give. It's one of my all-time favourite movies because I think it, it shines light on this so perfectly. How they're scared when they shouldn't be. He says, when the feds come knocking at my door, it's basically like the devil's at the door. And now, from here on, I just hope the Lord's with me because this is probably going to be the end of it. Pig put a fork in me, the fans knocking that just mean the devil at the door for me. I just hope the Lord with me. They try to change the rules, but shit ain't going how they planned it. Guarantee you I'm gonna be the last man standing. Officer down, bodies dropping them shells landing. Shot town leader like Fred Hampton. Uh, them babies starving, they parents can't eat. I don't know much about Fred Hampton besides the fact that he's an activist and he's actually he actually was in Chicago, which I think that's what Polo G is inspired by because Polo G is from Chicago. 
When them shells landed, shot town leader like Fred Hampton. Uh, them babies starving, they parents can't even afford pampers. No wonder why his hustler died and Clive Hamlet, he dropped out. That is a point I actually wrote like want to kind of touch on on a bit he says here their parents can't even afford pampers for their babies no wonder it's hustle or die that is a very good point to make obviously i can never say from experience but for, like i said from that movie the hate you give when it shines light on it perfectly he says in that movie this poverty is making people go in only one direction and that's what he says here because we're starving and we can't do anything else that's why it's hustle or die and then obviously it's a two-pack saying thug life the hate you give little infant will f everybody i apologize if some things i say are not completely right like i really do apologize for that i'm not trying to be offensive in any way i just really want to speak from how i feel about the situation as well uh, them babies starving they parents can't even afford pampers no wonder why his hustler died and clive hammer he dropped out of school he only speaking that trap grammar they teaching us lies the facts scatter don't want us with self-love missing history ain't got answers so they ain't promoting a black jesus or black santa no idea why wow wow speaking that trap grammar they in school we we're only speaking that trap grammar and then it says they're feeding us lies they're not telling us facts they're making us miss the history so that's why they're not promoting black jesus or black santa it's almost showing the corruption makes me sad so much this song is amazing this song is amazing Missing history ain't got answers So they ain't promoting a black Jesus or black Santa No idea rise when we see through all the propaganda On that front line Fist ball like black pants Staring in the eyes of a nigga hating crack Like why the fuck I gotta prove to you my black ass matter No really why the fuck we still Why do I Why do why do I have to prove to you that black lives matter? Shouldn't this already be known? Shouldn't humanity be enough rather than just from my skin colour? I have to prove that I matter as well. Oh, it just makes me like... Of a nigga hating crack Like why the fuck I gotta prove to you my black ass matter No really why the fuck we still marching Bad reviews are still sparking Cause my skin color I seem real dark They try to change the rules shit ain't going how they planned it Guarantee you I'm gonna be the last man standing Officer down, bodies dropping them shells landing Shot town leader like Fred Hampton uh. I'm actually gonna cry actually i'm gonna cry i'm i'm lost for words i genuinely i'm lost for words because that ending was amazing the fact that he just sat there and he said why is this still going on why are we still protesting in 2021 why do we still have to prove that we're human as well <laughs> I did not expect that song to be that deep. I literally came to this song blind and now I'm just like, wow. <sighs> that is it for today's reaction, guys. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button. Hit subscribe. Please. <laughs> Stay tuned for my little Mossy reaction, which I'm going to record now. Bye.